Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dana and today we're continuing with the second Witcher DLC, Blood and Wine. I am very excited. In the previous episode we finished uh, Heart of Stone. It was incredible. I love that DLC so I'm very excited for this one. Uh, we're gonna be traveling to the new worlds I believe. We'll see. Who's excited? I know I am. Thank you so much for being here. Let's just play. Okay, we have made it to the area. Envoy's wine boys. Right, so we are here to see some dudes. From what I understand, it doesn't seem like it's... They won't be as cocky once the Baron's mad with Yeah, relax. Oh, hello. Oh. Geralt of Rivia. Ha! Sit with us, Witcher. Sit with us? I'm fine. No, I don't do that usually. Found your message on a notice board. <clears throat> you see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. Am I supposed Good to, to know who they are? In years. Be assured, we share your joy. You must forgive us, sir. Uh, surroundings when we pledged to place the village under our protection the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings he swore it is the best hut Aye. in the village get involved in some squabble we discovered that in retreating the redanian garrison had left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues a tyranny of bandits the most onerous among them these plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. Cool, cool. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present oh. to you. Well, let me help you. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmenon wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. Yeah. <laughs> But I expect they will be deaf to this. <laughs> yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means all to evade bloodshed. All this we're doing. Fine. Come on. Naturally, I'll help butts. when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. <laughs> then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. Coming. Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out oh, to greet them. Oh, hi, Pussycat. <laughs> oh, yeah, you show up. I would listen to them. I I am just saying. He mean us. I, Palmer and Delonfall, Ooh, call upon you to repent. Such your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? Like your faces. <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores. Abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> Uh -oh. I could jest that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off or we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, <laughs> wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like? Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts? <laughs> Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? <laughs> or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. There's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back no, later. No, some no, wench no. sent them. 
folk who say we's afeard of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. <laughs> Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the Heron you will pay with your own blood. By the crane, villains, ready go. your arms. <sighs> Boom, surprise, bitch. Force. Come on. Did you see that? He was chopped in the half! What? Where's that damn freaking shooter? Give me freaking... Mercy, calm down. Oh, you want some too, is it? Do they not emerge? Because they're it is over. Morons. We have banished the scoundrels, lifted oppression's mm -hmm. yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits hey, now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Toussaint. Ach, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we deliver our message. Give me. I'm ready, let's go. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all mm. due ceremony. For tradition is sacred in Toussaint. Alright, fine. Wow. Most oh. honorable Geralt. Slayer of monsters and all Ifils nefarious. Ifils. Which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid. Oh, which how cool would that be? Us humbly beseeches you, the star-crossed city's most gracious protectress. Her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. I like how that sounds. Shall you answer? Totally. Queen? Might be the most fervent request that I take Whoops. a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by mm. those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. Show me. How many victims so far? Two. 
When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you. Wow. Promising grants that of land and different. fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born. That a slender the man. the start of a tourney draws near. Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw nor heard. I think we have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Anyone tried to hunt it? Knight's errand, for example? Ha! Many have tried, baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever, it evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. He's a vampire. This is what we need. I'm telling you. With knowledge of totally. Monsters. I would love that, though. In short, we need you. Okay. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, too it expensive. is too late. Come the guests on. have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. Mm. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. Before an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Oh, I'm taking it. Let's go. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes Bitch. be... <laughs> demanding. I don't so know her, but contract. like, come on. Excellent. A Duchess. We must set off at once. It's clear. Long wanted this land searching for you, yet time is of the essence. Ready to go. Could have just you're packed. Hold me. And post haste to Tucson. To Tucson. To Tucson. To Tucson. Let's go. Bye, peasant. I'm going with the golden boys. To Tucson. Ooh. Is that my new apartment? Mm. Few taste. Duchy of the Sun. Oh, 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 oh. the land of Exactly how I remembered it. Oh my lord. You'll find Beauclair's changed some these past years. Walk about when you so have the beautiful. chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. It Knights so errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's happening there? Well, hello there. Oh, uh, whoops. What are you? Oh my lord. Welcome to the sun. You know, that's what I mean. Wow, was this? What are you, beautiful boy? Geralt, you're just like, you're fearless. Jesus lord. Oh, noink. The Witcher's gone south. For my lady. Go Goya. Oh. I kill a monster. All for one, not one for all. Oh, Oh, 
that was freaking cool. Big beast, tackling it single-handed, none too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. <laughs> if he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need oh not reveal Lord, it. Oh Lord, what is this? A trophy? You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. What? This trophy, sir, is yours. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into Blind a Manor? wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Yes. Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable well, environments. Well, he's dead now, so what do you want? I'll take the trophy. <laughs> Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. What was accent? The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. Ta -da! We'll meet later. Near Guillaume's okay, tent at the Tourney geez. Ground. I shall take you then to see her cool. grace. Oh my god, the, 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 the Goliath had like cool ass feather situation there. Oh my god, will I get something feathery too? That would be so cute. Ooh, level 40. Nice. Okay, let's go, Sia. Milton. Brave kid, Guillaume. Farmer in oh shit, what, what was that? Guillaume is his kid. Oh, I was galloping. Oh, it was so pretty here. Can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and <laughs> near normal. I said, mm, move. In the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. Where'd you go, dude? You need to tell me. We turn left or right or. Let's go. How am I supposed to know? I'm new in these lands. Hmm. Oh! The one here. We must have removed the body already. Shit. That's not good. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Put it away, Geralt. Yeah, there you go. Let's get that fish, shall we? Wait, let me take a quick nap. Okay. Cool. You know, chill, chill, okay? What is this? I don't see anything here. That is odd. Oh, there. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. I love one. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. <gasps> I love when the the soldier or whatever knight walks. Oh no! Anything taken by the current ends Ooh. up in these shadows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Got guests. Careful. 
Wow, they look spiky. Wow. I will fail you all. They're not your regular drowners. No, no, no. Fine. Interesting. Notice anything interesting? Alas, nothing. It's a new necrophage. Okay, but like, wow, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? I need to meditate again. Gail just needs snaps. He's not a young fella anymore, right? Eh? Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Looks it. Ah. Only blood soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Jump the king down the river. You must keep searching. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Oh. Footprints. See them? Mm. And a rut made by the hull of a boat. Left recently, I'd say. Meaning? You think he's somewhere else? Dragged some nets onto the bank, then cut them to untangle them. A lot of blood, so the corpse must have been cut up. Quartered, maybe. It's likely they loaded the body parts onto a boat that and sailed terrible. off. Mm-hmm. Gonna dive in. Check the other nets. Nets were attached here. Okay, boo, -boo. Gonna dive, my darling. Get out. Ooh, cool. Linen. Hmm. Kerchief. Monogrammed DLC. The noble's accessory, clearly. Be nice to know where they took the corpse. You'll see like the one we're playing right now. <laughs> what now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat and mm -hmm. took it somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Cool. Who's that now? Ooh. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. Fancy people. They haven't seen that then. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? He have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I'm sorry. I understand. 
We can talk yeah, we'll later. Talk enough. Let's, let's fight. go to the tavern. Let's fight. Let's explore. Let's. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A night in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. What is that beautiful voice? In fact, I'd feared I would return too late to fulfill my Roach, duty. you're such an odd horse. I've arrived in the nick of time. You're not gonna... Okay. I thought we're riding. Okay, whatever. I need to meet the woman that sings there. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarieta. Cool sauce. Keep calm. Start no brawls. They say her grace. Dude, strange, what are you? But a good fellow, nonetheless. All ghosts. Anarieta. Her grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other <laughs> by our first names. Oh, no, good for you. Never in Pomrit's presence, however, that cause for even much. such familiarity offense. A watering hole for traders, that. smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better Don't crayfish chowder in Don't all to that. Win tournament. Frick off. There we go. Ducal clerks looking for help. Three be good coin to be That's made. All. Brandy and Bussons, my two the Witcher, true loves. The Witcher Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Fool, was wanted to serve as a guide. His potential employer guarantees an ample va wage for his unusual contract. For more information, he should go to Count Belladil's temporary base camp in Toussaint. Note, we kindly request all other persons not present, themsel not present themselves uh, at said camp under the presence of being get out of the Count Beladel was not born yesterday and can easily tell who is which and who is faking it. All those journeying to his camp in shabby costumes with wooden swords strapped to their back can save themselves the trouble and turn back. Oh, this is so cool. I love that. <laughs> oh, I will, I will, I will. Just, uh, not yet. Oh, my. <laughs> That's so cool. By my truth! Could that be the musty scent of fresh oh. pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. Companion? But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard. But all I caught was what? a corpse. Paintings and pictures on the wall. I like, of dawn, at... as I do each day. But when I looked up, I beheld a blood red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far off mm. land by her gracious oh, magnificence. Can we see her? He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir what de Peyrac What do you mean? That's his name. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the mm -hmm. witchery trade. He surely he is. Concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. <laughs> Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut well. and saw... By my troth, to the Just point, shut up, man. let him speak. You found the body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy, hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned, if I hear the sky was red <laughs> again... I saw... a head. Popping, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts. They gave me such a fright. 
I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco <gasps> to keep it cool. Who the fuck was that? What? Did you see Why that? Corfo Bianco is Baron Rassel's estate. <clears throat> First of all, she was beautiful. Second of all, she's walk, snooping. He'll set his there house she is. on him. While you were caliphanting about the north, mm -hmm. his vineyard was I see you. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Lilis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Rossell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the mm. old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent? Let him talk. The duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen yeah, he's to talking way too much. Girl. It's rehashed street preacher Codswell. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. They say anything else about the beast? Besides it being a messenger Just of the, the beast, gods. maybe the someone from their no fools. court. They see clearly you know? the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Pick I don't know, monster. like everybody has such tales. Thanks not for the much hospitality. Else. Time I examined the corpse. Give me some. Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road and you'll cool. arrive. Not coming with? <laughs> oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Venom. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the Palace Gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will <laughs> wet yourself <laughs> laughing! Love that. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. Cool. Right, right, right. So I am guessing. Hi, Dago. I'm guessing we. Be oh, gone Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay. Oh, Roach, my darling. I believe we must go. Go to Carvo Bianco and examine the body kept in the cellar. Cool. Run, Roach. My favorite Sunday. Exercised. <laughs> Sounds like a fight. Oh. What is happening there? Damn it. This is different. Ooh, ooh, what are you Busted ribs, blood from the oh ears. Oh my god. Took a solid hit. Those birds are just something. Killed with a single blow. Look at them. By man like jaws, man like. Oh my god, yes, fangs. it's a it's massacred so... by a vampire. Not an echidna, yes! though. Or a flutter. Yes! Bruxa. Got it. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Carry the boss in this car. God, I'm so excited. I can't even describe it. Footprints. <laughs> oh, sugar. Small bare feet. Lead Is it that cellar. woman? Fell down the stairs. Broke his neck. Is it that woman? Her 
pounded against the wall with great force. Ooh. Read the Brooks of Beast and entry to prepare for the fight. Okay, cool. I'm glad I... Okay, cool. The Beast of... Brother, I've witnessed a gruesome monster attack. Always have a guard hard time describing the creature in question. The beasts move quickly and often attack at night, while the witnesses are terrified and primarily concerned with fleeing for their lives. As a result, witchers quite often have no inkling what creature they face until they find tracks or otherwise establish something for themselves, such was the case with the beast tor tormenting Beauclair. Bau Beauclair? Geralt knew it was deadly ex uh, elusive and uh, fiendishly clever. Everything else he heard uh, was clearly the product of imagination fed by a fear of dangerous predator. Okay. Is there something else I need to read? I understand it's optional, but... What the heck is that? Oh, it's the napkin. Oh, wow. I don't know if there's any other entry. That's the only entry I have. So, yeah. Used this to batter down the grate. Wow. Yes. Use this to batter down the grate. Yes. Took a lot of strength to batter this down. Took a lot of strength to batter this down. Oh my god, yes. <gasps> Shineki! What's Shineki? You. Saw you at the inn. <gasps> Why Shineki? I know what you are. Don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly wasn't for their blood. For fun, I guess? Oh my god. What is happening there? Oh my lord. I love you. <laughs> we don't have to fight. Is she talk? You are wrong. Was she naked? Oh, shit. I cannot let you leave. You no why did she turn like that? She was so beautiful. <laughs> Give me that vampire oil. Wait, silver probably. Let me see. That is so fucking cool. Just give me a second, honey. Um, I should know, right? Which one is which, but I don't. <laughs> there we go. Maybe. Wow. Darling, come here. Could it be that she doesn't like this? Yes, she doesn't like fire. Cool, cool. Oh! Oh shit! Hey, but. Mia, what you laughing about? <laughs> Where's me vampire oil? Nana, I'm perfectly fine. Oh, <gasps> 
Magnificent. Wait, my weapon! Oh my god! Oh no! Shit balls. Anyway. <gasps> you bloody freaking ally! Juicy vampire juice. Jesus Christ. She was scary. She was so freaking scary. But why was she out at night? Is she like wearing a daylight ring? You know? Is she? Was that the body? Uh, stinks. Wow, that was incredibly Water cool. Locked. Both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. Why was us ill? Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch bulging with coins. Why? Elf guardian florins from several different provinces. If the murderer did this means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Wait a second, wasn't the vampire the beast? I mean, obviously no, because we fought it already. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witch's mm. blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Master vampire! Let it be a master vampire, please! Third hand. A spare? Except it's clearly not the victims. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing. Several monster species can Is regenerate. He? Never heard of that happening to their Was limbs, she trying to? Or of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. Was she trying to, like, wakey wakey him? So, murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Bruxa, Bruxa, she No, how shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions. He's the daddy no vampire. So Need to know Do you remember the, the... I'll ask Palmerin to get me into Tales see the of Duchess. the Crypt. The queen of the vampires, uh-huh. I'm telling you. The only way to get rid of her, I believe, was to chop her in bits. Yeah. I might be wrong, but I think I think that's how we was. So Owen oh, in Twilight as well. <laughs> if you could take it serious. Um there is a very slight truth regards the the the, the tearing into bits thing situation hello what do you got for me here i'll take everything like i mean why wouldn't i the door is open stuff everywhere <clears throat> i'm a witcher i don't have a home yeah so i need stuff okay cool thank you bye Such cute little feels very Frenchy. Mm hmm. Super cute. Roach. What the fuck are you? Roach. He's just chilling. Nothing's changed with him. That's it, Roach. Roach is just still good old Roach. 
Mm, I'm lost. Run, Roach. Okay. Very Frenchy, I'm telling you. Go, go. <laughs> he wouldn't. What is happening there? Whoa. Slower. Hi, sir. Oh, I can't, yeah? Okay. Oh, this is incredible. Hello. Need to speak to the Duchess urgently. All right, you scumps. How oh, dare you? Scumps. But the Pomerine. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? You mean like Vin Diesel, Riddick? Tales for another time. Oh, I could tell you about but that. Take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia. The master witcher who lent his that is cute. to the defeat of the giant Golgot. Master Witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? Is it true virtue always trumps villainy? Yes, I'm teaching children here. <sighs> yeah, virtue always wins. But the Black Knight, he's a villain and he wins. The cutter of Castel Dacia too. Moral victory. That's what counts. <gasps> How dare you? Now, that will do for questions. <laughs> Rubbish, he says. <laughs> Naughty kid. Her Highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before oh. the spectacle begins. Mm. Apologies. Lead the way. They must be warm in those... In that armor situation. And tired. Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? <laughs> Close, but not quite. As we'll soon see. Can I participate? Oh no. What is. Someone's gonna fight a shell heart. Put some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down. Oh, that's cruel. <laughs> the beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Oh, that is so cool. Why would you do that? What's wrong with you? Um. Yeah, exactly. Shouldn't torment the beast. How would you like to be dumped in an arena? Like a bell you yes. Are I slay monsters who are a threat to humans. You're out to humiliate one to entertain a crowd. That is very cruel. No knight will gain any glory from this. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love that for is... The great sacrifices. Ew. Let's go. Disgusting. What are you celebrating? He's, he's a tool. I don't like him. I dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. <gasps> Is that the Duchess? God, she's beautiful. Like, literally from a fairy it's tale. Begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Oh, I will obviously gonna have to fight him. Poor thing. Oh no. It's terrible. That is so terrible. Coward. Got a bad feeling. What a coward. Cool. Love that. What are they celebrating? I don't get it. He's a coward. 
And he's about to be squished. There you go. Damn it. Oh, like I told you. We have to help him. No, we don't. He's a moron. You all are. Oof. <laughs> uh. Gotta keep it down. Can he shut off? Not his fault, he's here. Don't forget that. Wow. Oh, wow. Ah. What was all in the monsters, the victor? Then not shall have come of Bella and Liga. He's powerful, eh? is so heavy. <laughs> Let me do this, right? Yeah, cool. Maybe oh shit. Oh yeah, he didn't like that. But I'm not in the way I would think. Happened, but I don't mind it. Come on, knight. Done. 
That was tough. That was really tough. And unnecessary. Keep your whistle to yourself, you moron. The Shelma lies defeated by Geralt of Rithia. You could have Master shut up. Of the witchering trade. Behold, your next as whistle, the last man. Gasps of life seep from the beast. Master mm -hmm. Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed. No, I won't. I won't do that. Monster's no him. threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right. Long live Geralt the Merciful! Pikeman, see to the beast! You have to release him. What's up, Wuss? Guillaume, the lads came down to close to die. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Vivian doesn't give to two to fucks about you anymore. She approaches. That is the Duchess. Oh my god! She looks like a Get Disney it. princess, just better. We must talk. Vivian, you shall talk later, in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. Okay, the voice. Annoying. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. Is it and Vivian, our daughter? Uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. She's so pretty. We <laughs> have been so... long awaiting your I'm, I'm like blushing. I'm have nearly shit. lost hope. Yep. Then mm. suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. Mm. Your Grace, Shale Mars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts for mere glory since time. Totally, in it's like a French Two. thing. Toussaint. Guillaume like. suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises. But in return, gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. Mm -hmm. What about the crowd? Say the Shalemar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt, though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, we would remind you your services oh, have been repaid. <laughs> and as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated <laughs> for completing another task altogether. It's not the money I'm after, it's the adventure, woman. And the woman. Grace, I mean him, not me. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. Naturally. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But whatever could he be? Come, we must find him. Right. Poor creature. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Mm -hmm. Who's Viscount Wish Julian? Wish to see Dandelion, your grace? Yes. I mean, no. Ugh. What? No way. He's yes. even sinked his teeth so into her. Regret. Yes, deeply you know? regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Okay, is that a way around? Ah, the very man we would entrust with his tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Like the moustache, Mr. Damien. Your Grace. Witcher. I have a name, too. Greetings. Sorry to have to tell you. But the guardsmen handling the last victim's body. I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corvo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. No. But a Bruxa, a kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt insinuates nothing of the sort. 
We must listen this should to help, you Attentive. stupid. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place, that's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Oh. Secondly, Best you should days. know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. Intimidated much, are you? trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own. You haven't done that so far. Help. I've oh, no doubt he? about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Mm, not always. Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise? It's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. Why? This law sounds rather romantic. No, it isn't. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, Scary. we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive Give me the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and the sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Oh, it's Title more than to generous. The vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Got Grace. A house. <laughs> Corvo Bianco. Isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery is bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. Mm -hmm. <coughs> How did it start? <coughs> Who was the first victim? Crispy was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi okay. was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. Howdy Yikes. <laughs> Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died so. suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So I it don't seems. like him. I don't like him. I don't like him. Something sketchy there. Second murder. Tell me what you know. <laughs> In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands they of these bandits. Do you believe people? me, amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep. I clean. don't believe his body him. Was found in the gutter, I mean, that's what they in say, but and cap. he's a involved. Placed under he's his so involved. And his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon Dulac. A knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. 
So, first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges. Enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinch. Found a coin pouch <laughs> on his body, contained <laughs> florins dating Stinch. from various times, hailing from the... different provinces <laughs> of the Empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were He's honorable involved. men. involved. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if Knights the... of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Mm. Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Five virtues. Why are they so important to your knights? A strange question. Your grace, forgive me. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You no. are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Toussaint, we believe like men of creature? low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of wow. our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, a knight vows to demonstrate throughout Jeez. his life honor, wisdom, generosity, valor and compassion. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor, compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Well, then you Can't tell me your the theory idea. If it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. He's like a serial. At the moment, all the knights are either at cereal, the tourney grounds you know? or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunt shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. <laughs> Not sure why. Oh, I'm excited to see that. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. Oh no! The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also not. knew Delacroix. Cool. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me, something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, <laughs> Crespi, Delacroix, and De Lac formed a knightly team. It was years ago, but. The... Oh the shit, Grace, I want to we press need to find the other one. Oh god damn it. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some Call tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's See hiding place danger. is a carefully guarded secret. No? We must call off the game, at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. That's very clever, my, my, my duchess. And yes. you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my knight, <sighs> I shall take the fall. Mm. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses! Oi! Your Grace! <sighs> oh my! Oh! <laughs> You're such a wolf, girl. Yikes. What the hell? Why, I should. Your Highness, I. Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. Nice. nice. She's a body. I love it. <laughs> hey! 
That is silk. Be careful. Give it to me. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna finish today's episode here. I know, odd place to finish, but we're gonna deal with that sir and the bunny costume later. How fun. How fun. I am already so in love with this expansion. It's just so much fun. So many new creatures and characters and a freaking vampire. Yes. I love it. I love it. Um, I hope there's like a big daddy vampire or something. We'll see. We'll see. I'm very excited. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. I will see you really soon. Okay. Have an awesome day. Bye.